Hey, it's Bron, and I'm here with Brian. Brian, hi. And Brian, I was asking you. Uh, I know in our own SharePoint internally here at Knowledge Tech, right. I've gone and added an Excel web, an Excel spreadsheet right. on a page yeah. on our SharePoint. That's right. And then every week, myself and the other person in marketing, Olivier, uh, we collect analytics, throw it on that page, so everybody that comes to our page uh, internal in the company can see it. Right. It looks and, great, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and you were saying that uh, that's fine, Ron, but that's not in SharePoint Standard. Right. So I asked you, well, what's the difference between SharePoint Standard and SharePoint Enterprise? Right. And then you told me there were three things. Three of my favorite things. Okay. Uh, there are a few more than three, but I think you can bundle them up this way. Okay. So, so what are the three things? Right. Number one you said was BI. I kind of grouped a lot of the, the pieces um, that are missing out of SharePoint Standard, that are included right. in SharePoint Enterprise, into like a BI bucket. Okay. There's an InfoPath kind of story. So InfoPath is my forms. Right. Search is my search. I understand that. Well, fast search, search. Fast search. You need enterprise calls. Okay. In order to for order. refinement and so it does uh, thumbnail federated. Views, I'm, I'm fine with SharePoint standard, but I need for fast search. If, you, if you're thinking about upgrading to fast search, you need you SharePoint have to have enterprise. The InfoPath, fine. Right. Get it. I understand why I want Excel services. Tell me right. one more thing. Uh, Visio services. Visio services. Yeah. Okay. Visio on my InfoPath. There you go. Visio on my uh, on my SharePoint <laughs> site. Right. Yeah, because it's great. Because I can. I've seen that before done. A dashboard uh, with Visio inside right. SharePoint, where the objects in Visio were computer servers at the company with a little bit of code behind each one, right. and they flashed green if they were up, and they went red right. if they went down. It was a great indicator. Right. In a nutshell, okay. if you're looking to put rich dashboard functionality into your SharePoint site, yeah. and you don't have the enterprise call, you're right. going to do a lot more work. How do I know if I've got SharePoint Standard or SharePoint Enterprise? Um, there are a couple ways to do it. Right. There, uh, you can look at the DLL versions that are installed in your server. Okay, you, you've lost, you're more complicating it for me the now. The easy way is, if, you, wrong if, you, if you've got access, administrator rights on a site, right. look at your site features, see if yeah. there's any enterprise features. And so so if, I went, if I went to my site settings right. and, my, and looked under the site features, if I clicked on site features right. and went in and looked there. Site collection features. Site right. collection features. I should see, for example, Excel services. Right. If I don't see Excel services or I think you're or enterprise, enterprise search features, or it says enterprise features. Um, yeah, that would be the easiest way. Okay. 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 Hey, good to know. Yeah. SharePoint standard versus uh, SharePoint enterprise. Right. I didn't know that. I like it. Thanks. Okay. Hey, no Brian, problem. where can people find uh, you on the web? KnowledgeTech.com. Okay. And I'm RonDeJuicy.com, and I'm also at KnowledgeTech.